Today we're going to talk about a study that NASA did in 1989. It's called the NASA Clean Air Study. And, you know, astronauts don't get photosynthesis up there in space, so there's no one that converts carbon dioxide into oxygen. And so, you know, eventually the astronaut will die if they don't have any solution. So what they did was look at plants and their ability to, you know, convert carbon dioxide into oxygen, but not only... Um, are we interested in photosynthesis? We're also, they were also interested in the plant's ability to convert organic um, bad compounds for humans. There are organic compounds that are bad into, you know, good stuff. Water, no, not water, but, you know, oxygen and other stuff again. And what I'm talking about is, um, or what they tested was formaldehyde really bad you know you can find it in um, in adhesives and in, in paint in uh, many products that you buy furniture for example um, paper it's uh, it's a very good way of um, what's it called dissolving stuff it's a very good solvent but it's really toxic don't go near it and that's why we want plants but oh well benzene next chemical really bad uh, jet fuel, uh, the byproduct of you know burning jet fuel is um, one of them at least is benzene to my knowledge. Trichloroethylene, pretty bad. That's why they tested it. Xylene, toluene, ammonia, and carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is of course what you get. You know what the car. It's why people die if you lock them in, you know, a garage and the car is on. That's why people die because the carbon monoxide replaces. Um, you know, the place where the oxygen is supposed to sit, and so you die. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But oh well. Now, NASA tested 29 different plants, and they looked at their ability to remove these chemicals, which ones could remove all of them, which ones could remove some of them, and how much of each compound they removed um, when the data was available. Um, sometimes, you know, in some places... Um, they didn't have the amounts, but oh well, I've looked at the chart and uh, I've picked out some plants that I think everyone should get Now before we get into that, I have to say I'm making this video because many people get into this um, You know air purifier hype Let me tell you this nature is really smart We've got photosynthesis which is a part of nature that we barely understand. And we've got us, a human body, a part of nature that we barely understand. And because everything is so complicated, you can't just take some artificial air purifier and think that that's going to work. I mean, ozone purifiers, as an example, they'll, they'll fry you up. Don't go near ozone. There are many, there's ozone therapy and a bunch of stuff like that. Don't go near that stuff. Um, so don't get any artificial air purifiers. Please. Thank you. Why? Because we have this alternative. We have nature. Now the plants. English ivy. Really good on our, all fronts. Peace lily. Really good everywhere and it could clear out all the compounds I listed. Uh, we also have the bamboo pole. And we have the... Oh God, Chrysanthium morifolium, uh, which was um, one of the better plants. Uh, it had everything on green. That means it could clear out all the compounds. So get yourself a plant and put it across the house. Uh, you need one big plant for every 100 square feet or 10 square meters. And then it'll be set. You'll, your air will be cleaned continuously and you'll have wonderful plants everywhere with the addition of getting extra oxygen which you know the air purifiers won't do so with that said um hope you um go buy a plant over not for now